Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. Today we're in Port St. Lucie, Florida, which is on the east coast of Florida, a little bit south of Melbourne and north of Boca Raton. We're in a community called Belterra, and we're gonna show you this home by GHO Homes. Behind me is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home with 2,607 square feet of living. And the base price at time of filming is gonna be 784,990. Now the base price does not include lot premiums or upgrades. Lot premiums in this community start at $0 and go up to 100,000 if you want a nice larger lot with a water view. Of course, this one also has quite a bit of upgrades in it, so keep that in mind. But this is a luxury community, so their base set of upgrades are quite a bit. They also grant opening and have some great incentives. If you're interested in knowing what the current incentives are when you're watching, you can give me a call at 407-487-3030. Be more than happy to send you over the current incentives that the builder is offering for any buyer. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the outside of the house. Of course, we have some pavers coming in. Over to our left is a two-car garage, which can be extended if you want. It's like a semi custom builder so you can make some changes here compared to your production builders over to our right it's a nice little driveway going in where you can park an additional car or use to turn around in the driveway with nice tropical landscaping going all the way around with some palm trees and all this really nice colorful uh, shrubbery as well over on our right we have a window with a little blind coming down and of course slate slate roof on the uh, top of the home as we come over to the front entryway we have a couple carriage lights on either side a little step up to the covered entryway Nice double doors going into the home. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. Let me go ahead and close the door behind me. As soon as I walk in, we're welcome with some nice tile that goes throughout the whole home. And the other thing that I noticed is I look over to the right, we have this really cool accent wall, all these different colors with the whites, the grays, the blues going all the way around. And it's bordered by this really nice white wood paneling going all the way around. Above us is an elevated ceiling with some tr uh, crown molding and also the tray ceiling with the chandelier coming down from the center. So before we show you everything, over to my left, we have a laundry room, half bath, and media room and primary bedroom suite that we'll show you a little bit later on. And then over to my right, it's gonna be two bedrooms and a bathroom that we'll also show you a little bit later on in the uh, film. So as we come back over, Haley, who is filming today, is over by the front door. So you get a view of what you see when you come into the home, which is of course to be the family room. Sliding glass door going out to the pool and outdoor living area, which is amazing out there. Can't wait to show you that. But let's go ahead and start the tour by looking at what we have over here with this built-in cabinet and shelf area. So you have a little storage area and these little shelves where you can put some pictures and any sort of decor that you want. Want. really neat with the you know the grays and the white I think that goes really well together as we come into the main living area of the home we have our family room our kitchen and our dining room so let's go ahead and start off with our family room so as I walk into the family room the one thing that I noticed right away is gonna have to be this accent wall with this beautiful natural wood that goes from floor to ceiling with the shelf going across where they have some nice artwork and decor above us over on the far side we do have a beverage fridge area so your beverage fridge cabinets uh, countertop and of course we have this gray subway tile and we have some cabinets with display cabinets in the center as well with even some recessed lights so that's really nice if you're sitting here you have all your beverages really nice and close but the kitchen is not that far away either it's just right across the uh, area here but if I look up I see the ceiling the ceiling is a coffer ceiling it also has those grays and whites which is really neat as well with this really cool chandelier coming down so now we're over to the kitchen the kitchen has a center island and what's really neat about this kitchen is how it is designed it sort of goes one direction and then it takes a little bit of like a 45 degree angle and shoots off and that's because behind here is the primary bedroom suite and you'll see how the hallways and everything work when we go back there so you can see how this whole design is but this is really neat currently got set up for four people to sit around the center island we have three pendant lights coming down from the ceiling over to the left we have a walk-in pantry where you can put all your dry goods, so plenty of space there for that. And then as we continue, let's go ahead and show you what we have in the kitchen. We have our oven and microwave combo. We have these really nice cabinets and sort of like a cream color with like a bronze hardware on all of them, also all uh, soft clothes. And we have our uh, five burner gas stove top, the subway tile that's in gray going from the countertop all the way up to the back. I like when they have it over behind the air vent, so sometimes they stop it right at the air vent, so this is a really nice Thing that they've done all the way to the top. The center island has the dishwasher, sink, and also our faucet. And as we continue going back through here, it turns around, we have our side-by-side uh, <laughs> -side refrigerator and some more display cabinets. Behind me is the dining room. It's currently set up for six people to sit around. So as I look in the dining room, what's really cool about this is the picture windows on the back side where you get to see the pool, the jacuzzi, the elevated, uh, sitting area on the outdoor living and of course the water view. These ceilings here are very tall with the tray ceiling and crown molding above us. 
and also it's done in the two different colors and the grays and the whites with this really cool modern light fixture coming down from the center. So let's go ahead and go back across here. We'll pass the sliding glass door in the covered patio area that we'll show you a little bit later on and come to a game room. So this is the game room. There's also a media room in this home also. So as we come into the green room, we have currently set up for four people to sit around and play some tic-tac-toe or dominoes. I like on the far side wall with the natural color wood, so it matches what we saw in the family room. Also the picture windows looking out to the backyard with all the tropical landscaping. Over here, we have a nice little pl place to play some pretty cool games and a little beverage stand. So we have another beverage stand. We have a beverage stand in our family room. We have a beverage stand here. So uh, this one does have that refrigerator, some storage. Uh, you can even make some popcorn. And of course the mirror with a uh, glass shelves going across. So let's go ahead and go and check out the rest of the home over the other side. Now, if you're looking to purchase a home anywhere in the state of Florida, whether it's a starter home, a luxury home, or even some commercial property, make sure you contact me. I have some great partners throughout the state of Florida that specialize in all different areas of real estate, all well-reviewed and rated, and take really good care of all of my followers on YouTube. So I'll be more than happy to get you in touch with them and talk to you myself. So as we come in here, here is our two bedroom area. So let's go ahead and go to bedroom number two first. So as I come into this bedroom, it's kind of funny as me and Haley walked around here first, I was trying to figure out what these baseballs said. My eyes just didn't do as well as hers. It just says never quit, right? Oh, with three exclamation points. I'm like, what's that last character over there? So pretty neat and uh, <laughs> unique and creative design on this room. And of course we have some built-in shelves to do your office work and the closet on the far side. So let's go ahead and show you what we have right next is the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. We have this unique color. What color do you think that is? Blue? Haley says blue. I don't know. I say it's sort of like a Turk voice gray. I don't know. It's, and then we have the bronze. We have the bronze color hardware. And of course the countertops, the mirror, this framed in the same color as the ca uh, cabinets. Behind me is the toilet. Of course we have tile going from floor to ceiling. This is a nice gray color. And I like the accent tile going away halfway. And of course the window for some natural light. So go ahead and show you bedroom number three. As we come in here, this is the Paris bedroom. We have a nice size, looks like queen size bed, couple end tables on either side, window looking out and closet on the far side. So let's go ahead and show you the rest of the home. This is a linen closet behind this door. We get a good view of that nice built-in as we come in through the front entryway. And here we are down the next hallway. This is a half bathroom with a pedestal sink. They've done this in the nice bright color. So nice color for the walls. As we continue to come down, we have air handler behind here. We also have an air handler behind this door as well. So two air handlers in this house. And we come through this door. This is a neat little area. I like this area. And the reason why I like this area is that we have our media room over to the right and we have the laundry room to the left. So the laundry room is pretty neat. We have our washer and dryer, some cabinets above the washer and dryer, but check out all this cabinetry on the other side with the sink, window looking out in the front yard. You can see the two car garage and your driveway. Plenty of uh, storage, storage space here. And we have a picture of a dog whose name is Thaddeus, just in case you want to know his name. So behind this door is the two car garage. Now this builder um, in this specific community can do some semi-custom work. So if you wanted a bigger garage or do some changes, there's a possibility they'll be able to do that. So this is a nice area with nice epoxy floors. And what's really neat, Haley, if you come here, I didn't see this one first, check out this. They have like storage area that's built in above here with how much it can actually uh, hold. So that's pretty neat. My, uh, my mom would probably like that with all her Christmas decorations and Halloween decorations, right? So, all right. So let's go ahead and uh, close this door. And then we have the pocket door. So a couple pocket doors that slide back and forth like this. And then you go into this really neat room, which could be your media room. It could be your study. It could be your playroom, whatever you need it for. It's like a little flex space with this real nice built-in shelves going all the way across where you can put all your books that you want. A little sitting area with a window looking out in the side yard and this built-in going across as well with the drawers, a couple of areas where you can sit and get your laptops out and do some homework has a little calendar and then right in front of us, the TV. So it sort of um, does quite a few different things in this room right now, set up for a media room and also for a study. So let's go ahead and go right around. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We definitely would appreciate it, both me and Haley. And we'll be, uh, Haley's gonna be starting her own channel soon. So look out for that. 
As we come through here, this is the primary bedroom suite. And the first thing I wanna talk about is that we're coming in at an angle, as you can see, and it sort of curves around and that sort of does the same thing in the kitchen. So when you saw the kitchen go on, a, on an angle, that's because this is how this specific area is designed also. So we come through here, we'll show you what we have. We have two closets, this is closet one. So if your partner doesn't have many clothes, this will be perfect for them. If they have a lot of clothes, then you might have to share closet number two with them. So maybe they'll get this much space as well if uh, you want to, but then you have the main closet here with plenty of space here. And of course you can do some custom shelves here to even fit more clothes if you needed to. So we come back through to the primary bathroom. As we come into the primary bathroom, there's a really cool light fixture above us. We have a garden tub and check out what's really neat is how we come to a corner and we have the pebble tile going from floor to ceiling with the wood paneling in between. Of course, the plantation shutters looking out on the yard and on either side, we have a sink. So on the left side, we have the sink with the nice cabinets and countertops the other way around. And then on the other side, we also have a sink with the cabinets and countertop and a vanity area. And we continue to go over this direction. We do have our water closet right behind there also. On the other side, by the other sink, we have the shower. So a nice little designed uh, uh, setup here in the bathroom. Of course, we have the tiles from floor to ceiling with the cool accent tile going a little bit above halfway up the shower. So let's go ahead. It does also have a pocket door. So if I wanted to lock Haley in there, I can just close this and lock her in there. But we still need to do the primary bedroom, don't we? So follow me this direction. We'll go left and we'll see how the wall does that little 45 degree angle off into the primary bedroom suite. So king size bed, couple end tables on your side, accent wall with some woodworking, of course, the, the window for some nice natural light, but also gives you privacy. And of course, above us, we do see a tray ceiling with some crown molding. And then we have the sliding glass door looking out onto the outdoor area. So let's go ahead and show you the outdoor living area of this specific home. All right, so here we are on the outdoor living area. Of course, we have this beautiful tile going all the way around the outdoor living. Right in front of us is a setup for a dining area. So you have a six person dining room set here. Could easily be eight person barbecue in the far side. I would put a summer kitchen in myself if I lived here. What's really nice about this is this is a pretty wide lot. So we even have some yard on the other side with some nice tropical landscaping. We have it here. We also have it on the other side. So let's follow me over this direction. I'll show you a little bit about what we have with the pool. Nice large pool, jacuzzi coming into the pool area. You can do laps back and forth. Couple uh, water features with a beautiful blue and gray tile going throughout. Over to my right is the covered patio area where it's currently set up like a living room. You can sit here, have some talk, talk to each other, read a book, sliding glass door going into the family room. And as we continue to go around, we come back over to this area, a couple of lounge chairs, nice tropical landscaping and some yard on the far side. And as we continue to go around, you can see all this really nice tropical landscaping and these like shrubs that are great for butterflies and hummingbirds that definitely attracts that type of species to come over. And you can get to see some really beautiful butterflies sometime. As we step up a couple steps here, we come over to this really nice elevated area, a couple seats with a fire pit in front of a trellis above us, and of course, a view of the water behind. So if you enjoy watching this channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Of course, also, if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the state of Florida, give us a call. I have some great partners throughout, and I myself will help out. My phone number is 407 487 3030. Call, text, and our email will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.